Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am pleased and privileged to be joined on the summit today by the head volleyball coach at East Central, Coach Sheree Lindsay, whose team is 13 and 11 overall, nine and three in the Great American Conference. Coach, let's start right there. A solid season, uh, doing very well at this point in the year, and you're clearly headed in the right direction. Yeah, um, just very proud of the girls um, and just everything that they've done. I mean. Um, we brought in some some fantastic players that I knew early on were going to make an impact and, um, you know, put them in some tough tournaments at the beginning of the season. And, and to be honest, I feel like even our record when we were, I think, one and eight at some point, um, it didn't necessarily point to the, the level of talent that we had because we had some stuff we had to work out um, on the court. But um, I knew I knew later on in the season that they were going to get going and I'm proud that they did. You know, Coach, that's a very good point. Let's stay there for just a moment because you were 1-8. You actually 0-8 at one point in time, got that first win against Western New Mexico up in Edmond, Oklahoma. And tough tournaments, I, I get that. But, uh, you know, when when they make those adjustments that you're looking for and you're talking about bringing in those quality players, uh, what's that like then to have a turnaround? Because since that time, the team has gone 13-3, and and that includes a nine-match winning streak, which is the longest in program history. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was it's just their drive. Um, they come into the gym every single day and they literally love the game. Um, it's it's never a dull moment in the gym. I think anyone who sees my team, um, they're really shocked at the amount of energy that everyone has. Uh, we have what's called energy unmatched in my program, which means no matter what, we're going to give all the energy we possibly can and we thrive off of that and so when they come into the gym the same way that they are on the sideline and in the game that's how they are in the gym um and i think it's because they just genuinely love the sport and they they want to make a name for themselves in this in this conference and they want to win um and just kind of having teams that refuse to lose um we do have like we have um our, our stanza, I guess, our quote that we use is grit over quit. It's on the back of all of our shirts. Um, and this team is the embodiment of being gritty is what, you know, what we call it. We don't, we don't give up. We're like that team. You might think you have us and then all of a sudden we'll close a seven, a seven point hole, <laughs> you know, and they, we just never quite go away. Um, and I think that that's huge, especially coming off of, I thought we did really well in 2020 um, in like the, the smaller season, but um, you know, even coming off of, say, 2019, where it was East Central just wasn't a team that anyone would even prepare for. And I kind of took that kind of personal. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm like, no, you're going to prepare for us. So I think that we got to that point, and that's where we're at right now. Well, and a lot of that was before you got there, too, Coach. So I think there has been a, a definitely – it's a visible turnaround at East Central in, in your two seasons that are there. Let's talk about a couple of the players, too, specifically Alejandra Delgado, She's the Defensive Player of the Week in the Great American Conference this week, coming off a couple of matches against two of the perennially tough teams in the GAC in Arkansas Tech and Harding. You split that. She goes for 567 digs per set, 5.67. That's a very impressive week, Coach. Yeah, um, Ale, she is, she's a special player. Um, she gets balls up that we just – it, it blows our minds too. I mean, she's just a ball hawk and you kind of have to be that as a defensive player. I tell them all the time, I can put you in the right spot and I can say, okay, this is where you need to go. But at the end of the day, defense is all, it's, it's all reaction. It's all um, effort. It's, it's getting, it's getting the balls that you shouldn't get to. And so she does that um, effortlessly almost. It, it seems like, I mean, she, she runs my court, but it's not just her defensive um, ability or her serve receive ability. It's her leadership and just how much she talks on the court. Like she's a huge rock um, for our team. And just, um, I'm very proud of her um, just being able to show up every single day. It's, it's difficult to show up every day and she does it without any effort. seems like. <laughs> And the, and the season is long. I mean, it, it, it is a tough season, uh, you know, to for the grind there. I like that grit over quit, though. Is that a, is that a hashtag? Have you already made that hashtag? Oh, yeah. It's it's okay. our, it's our been the hashtag since I got <laughs> here. It's literally, you can't see it on this shirt, but it's big on the back of our shirts. Yeah. Um, it's it's what we what we stand by. We we don't quit on anything, and, and we have a lot of grit, a lot of, um, a lot of pizzazz, if you will. <laughs> We're speaking now with Sheree Lindsay, who's the head volleyball coach at East Central in her second season with the program here on Midwest Sports Net. Uh, one of the wins in particular, again, a nine-match winning streak, which is a lot to speak of, and, and by far the longest winning streak in program history, uh, a game you win following that 
was against Harding, and that's the first win against the Lady Bisons in program history there. So that's another milestone for you because that that's a that's a tough out any way around. Mm-hmm. No, it was a it was a tough game. It was a hard fought win. Um, especially coming out in like one of the sets, I think we were down by seven points and to come back from that type of a deficit against a strong team, um, I think just shows that we, we work really hard and we, we just never give up. And um, then to come out and win the fifth set, it was, it was huge. And, you know, they have that, you know, big, huge gym and it's, it's really echoey and it's like, you know, going against a team that is in their home court, you know, they're swinging away, we're swinging away. It was, it was, it was like a shootout. Like Both teams were going as hard as they possibly could at each other. Um, and it was awesome to come out on top of that. It was, especially after, you know, you had to climb out and to, to know that that work of you climbing out of that hole didn't just happen in vain it was like okay now we're gonna win um that that was pretty cool and and of course for it to be the first time in program history for that to happen um i couldn't be more proud of them coach you're you're fourth now in the standings in the great american conference as the season really is winding down one of the things though to to mention again already secured a berth in the postseason tournament, which is a really big deal. Last year, you your team was in the postseason tournament, but the, the season was shortened. It was a whole COVID thing. And all 12 teams in the conference made it to the postseason tournament. And so it's a little bit different than earning one of those eight spots. And the last time East Central had done that, you have to go back to 2013, and you talked about some dry years, and there really were some dry years in between then and where you are now. To say that you've already earned a spot in the postseason tournament with this much time remaining still in the season, I think is a big deal in the number four spot. Talk about where you are right now. And and the girls then really have something to push toward. Yeah, I tell you. So the day that that um, tweet came out from the GAC about like the teams that automatically they made it, um, you know, we were excited in here as coaches. We didn't know if the if the athletes had really understood like what that means for the program and so we walk into the gym and they're just like you can like see the excitement in the air and like they all like come and crowd around me and they were like coach like we made it to the playoffs and we still have five games left and i was like no yes you absolutely (laughs) did and it was really neat to just see them like you know hold themselves accountable but also like love themselves up a little bit and and know that it was their work that got them there and it also i mean you know, it, it's kind of nice to walk in and know, like, we're going to the playoffs. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like um, it hasn't happened. I've been coaching collegiately for 11 years now. And to know that you are you don't have to win, like, the last five games or you don't have to hope that someone loses the last five right. games to get in, it's, it's, it gives you kind of like that, okay, like, that's this is nice. But, you know, now it's like, okay, let's grind it out and let's get good seating. Let's, let's still push towards – towards our goals. And that's something that we do a really good job of. We actually have um, these popsicle sticks and they, on one side of the popsicle stick, they wrote what their personal goals are for the season. It didn't have to just be volleyball, but you know, school and everything. And then on the other side, they came up with team, um, team goals that they put on the other side. And so we took all the popsicle sticks and we put them together. And then we, I, I, I'm notorious for using duct tape for everything. And they'll probably tell you that, but I duct taped them together. And then we wrote the team goals on the outside. And the thought of it was one individual popsicle stick. If I bend it, it will break without a doubt. But when you put them all together, you can't break that. And so you put all the personal goals and you put all the team goals together and we reached those milestones. And so this was no different. We just made different goals now going into these last five games. Like, okay, this is what we want. This is, this is the route that we want to be able to take going into preseason. So, um, so yeah. I like that coach. And, and by the way, I think that it get really loud because <laughs> Our team is coming in. I'm going to, can I close my door? As we come back now here, Coach, and, and I agree with you, by the way, that, uh, you know, duct tape is the universal solution or one of one of the solutions that's definitely universal. In in light of that, then you're, you're wrapping up your season now and, and you're talking about uh, four games left. And they're, I don't think any of them are easy. It, it's a, a challenge to end the season. You have the weight off your back. You know you're making the playoffs. How do you go into these next few games? Tuesday night against a very tough Oklahoma Baptist team that has also already secured its spot in the postseason tournament and then Friday on the road at Northwestern Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean, I just say go out there and play. Um, you know, we've we've even done our scouting reports different this, this season after, you know, after the first two tournaments, we – 
we found that there we can just find a different way to do our scouting reports. But at the end of the day, um, the girls going in there and just playing and enjoying and not having to think too much about things is when we play at our best. Um, so yeah, you go out there and you just put it all out there. Um, you know, sacrifice your body, roll on the ground, go go running after the person who's chasing a ball. You know, be relentless um, no matter what. Because yes, it is a it is an accomplishment to to get that asterisk next to your name that says you're going to playoffs. But it's even more of an accomplishment to keep pushing and keep keep working just as hard as you would like you hadn't made the playoffs. Um, and I feel like I have a team that does that. Um, even even yesterday, a five set match against a tough Swasu team. I mean we're still fighting to win games. And it's not just like, oh, yeah, we made some playoffs, we're fine. So just, um, you know, talking to my team about never being content, um, we, we always wanna we always wanna win, we always wanna learn things, we, we wanna be a better team um, in every aspect and stuff. So that's how we're going into these last four games um, where we're playing like we didn't make the playoffs yet. So that's the, that's the plan. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Coach, to this point in the season. I know there are still matches to be won and goals to be achieved and sought toward, but we know one thing for sure, that East Central is headed for hot springs when the regular season is over with. 9-3 and three right now on the season. Coach Cherie Lin or Lindsay, thank you so much for taking time with us today and success to the Tigers as they continue through this 21 season. Yeah, and thank you for having me, and thank you guys for your support um, and just exposure for the team because the the athletes they really they really appreciate it, and they they appreciate people knowing and, and supporting them for sure. Thank you, Coach.